find your security controls coverage gaps for identities in the Rapid7 Exposure Command platform. So we're gonna immediately pivot over to the identities page and it's gonna show us all the identities in our environment. And so it's pulling these identities from all the different connectors and sources that you have configured. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna immediately filter and find all identities that have multi-factor authentication set to false. And so we went from 43,000 identities down to 17,000. Now that's still a lot for the team to actually go prioritize or remediate. Let's find the next most important ones. Let's filter on identities that have MFA disabled, but also have admin access to some business application or system. And so now we went down from 4,000 to 95 identities. And we can actually keep filtering based on the certain parameters that we're looking for. What I'm gonna do now is pivot into an identity. So we're gonna look at Abdullah. And this particular identity shows us all the different sources that it has, it's pulling identity information from. It's pulling from Azure Active Directory, from Slack, from ServiceNow, Google Workspace, no before, et cetera. And so we have all this information, the source of truth from every one of these APIs that we're connecting to, to give us information about this identity. And then we get the correlated view of the identity, all the best information in one place under the general tab. We also get correlation information that shows how these decisions were made when there's multiple sources that say the same or different things. This is a key data transparency and confidence feature. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pivot a little bit more. Let's take a look at Nova 4. Nova 4 has our business context around this user. We can actually see that this user is 22% likely to click on a phishing email. They do not have multi-factor enabled. They have administrative access to business application and they're 22% likely to click on a phishing email. This is something the security team can work with and start to reduce the risk by the most impact. So I hope that's helpful and thank you for your time.